Welcome back to the channel. So someone sent in a challenge and uh, that's for me to create a, a dashboard, sort of like a report for the most trending post that's being seen. Uh, also, uh, we are thinking maybe also get the, the post that has the most comments. So basically they are looking at uh, seeing where their traffic is coming from and how they can grow it and how they can actually uh, see that it is uh, proper. Now um, I'm going to do this by uh, starting off uh, by just going to my plugins uh, folder. I'm just going to drag that and drop it in the editor and I'll add it to this workspace. So what I'm going to do is uh, I'm just going to create a new file, give it the same name and then I'll add on a PHP uh, to make sure the extension is right and I'll just copy what I have here this other plugin and I'll just drop it in here so all we need to do is change this and call it a trending post uh, widgets uh, information for the designer or for the content web content maker okay so when we save this we actually have our plug if we go back to our plugins go back to our plugins we'll see that it's already here so what we need to do is just activate it. Now uh, the first thing that I'm going to do is that I'm going to go to uh, our posts just to see what posts we have there. So we have two posts here demo post 2 and hello world and what we're going to do is that we're going to use some of the inbuilt methods of uh, what WordPress is and we're going to add sort of um, like a counter but it's going to be a metadata. Now WordPress uh, custom post types or posts themselves or the post types allow us to store metadata along the post. As long as you have the ID you can store attachable small details uh, of information. Now we are going to leverage that to make this work. So what we're going to do first is I'm going to create a function and then I'll give it our name and I'll call it a TPW for short trending post widgets. And I'll say we're going to call this a uh, uh, post posts uh, single post views, and that will be our function name. And we'll call this uh, to do whatever it needs to do. Now, of course, we're going to add a meta key. That is the name of the key that we shall have for the particular metadata that we're going to store, and uh, we're going to just call it. Uh, Okay, finally I can get my editor to work. So we're going to call it a TPW uh, post uh, views. Uh, let me make some corrections here. Uh, I'll just call this a, uh, I'll just call this a save so that it's not confusing. So I'll call it TPW save posts. Now we are going to save a meta key uh, on our post and the way we can do that is we shall be able to query for this metadata at the end of the day. So let's say we call this views and now we're going to be querying the views. So we use the get meta, get post meta uh, function that is in WordPress natively. So our function requires three uh, arguments. So the first one is the post ID because this data is going to be saved on each individual ID and then we're going to add the meta key that we are saving and then we are going to say this should be true so that we only return it as a, as a string of information not as an array. So we'll pass it on to be true. Now what we can do for now is that we can even echo this out uh, so that we we see what actually happens. So we're going to save this and the way we are going to tap this method is that we're going to use a, a what we call a hook. So we're going to use a hook which is called a WP that is automatically run every time a WordPress uh, the WordPress query is run. So every time a WordPress post is run, it runs a WP query against the database to bring in that post. 
So what we're going to do is we're going to run this action and then uh, we're going to add our function which we have already uh, saved here. So I'm going to add those and then save this. Now we just want this to actually run, uh, okay, error cleared. We want to know if, if the page is actually is single. That's when we want to run that particular file. So we'll only do it on posts and not any other, we'll only do it on posts and not any other post types. So we want it to be if it's single, so we we'll need to wrap our condition. So if it's single, if it will be a single page, then we'll run this. So what I'm going to do here is, uh, before we run to see, because I know we're going to get an error, uh, let's say if I run this here, we'll see nothing is going to show up because it's not locked up. So what I'm going to do here is uh, I'll wrap this also in uh, some proper HTML tags to allow us to see something that is, uh, uh, let's use something like an H2 to make it very obvious. H2, I need to close this off. And then what we're going to do is we know this particular uh, views is not going to exist because it's not created. Now what we need to know is that every post is going to start from zero. So we want to say every time we count the post, every time we, we count the post, uh, if it is empty, so we'll write this in a short form, if it is empty, then if what is empty, if the views is empty, if views is empty, what we're going to do is we're going to say let it be zero, else let it return views. So that's the way we are going to do that. And then we add the semicolon. And if uh, that happens, that is okay. So every other time we shall want the post count to automatically add on another. Every time we view the, 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 the particular post, we want it to have the post count and add on another post. And that's how Google and all the other systems see it. So what we are going to do is that now we're going to use uh, if we have here get post meta, all we are going to do now is actually going to do update post meta. So we're going to update the post meta, which is also an inbuilt uh, function of uh, WordPress. And I'm just going to copy this here and add it because it's the same information we need. It's need the post ID, we need the meta key where we're going to save our data. And actually the final thing that we do need is actually this information we need to save our value of the post count. So after doing that, we shall query get post meta and then we shall echo it out in an H2. So what we're going to do is uh, come back to this and then I'll reload here and nothing is happening. I think because, let me just comment this out and save this. Uh, we'll reload this, we shall see this page is loaded and we don't see any H1. Um, when we were making this function we did not pass in the ID, so we need to pass in the post ID, post ID, uh, because when we are passing uh, this particular action we shall have the post ID. So I'll just edit these and then save this. Then I'll just uncomment this out and save. So let's reload this demo post and then we'll see, ah, still doesn't do anything. I'll cover this out, introduce it a little later, reload. Our page is not showing anything here. Try to see this. Hmm. 
So let me just try this out and stop. Uh, let me first save this action and then uh, I'll just try to view this in my theme. My current theme is 2020. I'll drag it here and it will space. And I'm going to look for the singular.php and say if we have post while have the post. I'll run this function and save. Let's see if we can actually echo this out. We see it has too few arguments. Zero is passed in line 23 and exactly one is needed. Uh, so we just pass in the ID, the post ID, uh, depending on how it was saved. So if I we'll have the post, we just do get the ID, which is the function that we need. And then I'll just close this off, come back, reload, and we are, I don't see anything. In our post, you are looping. We have an empty H2 here that's coming because views which is our views which is our query is actually not returning anything yet. So if it's empty then that zero then update post ID. Okay. Let me just echo this. Um get post meta. And then I'll pass in the post ID get the ID which is what we need comma and then pass in this our meta key save that I'll comment this out save this so let's see what this gives us so I'll reload this and we don't have anything, do we? No. Okay. Pump this here, pump this here, square that off, square this off, save. Let's see what happens. Yeah, we have one, if we reload the page, it's still one because it's not running the function. Then of course we'll be running this I this function because it's here. So every time we reload this page, we'll actually see one coming, reload. Now it's two, reload. Now it's three, reload. Now it's for it's recording every time we change our page this is changing now of course we don't want to affect the other pages so what I'm going to do is uh, a number of times whenever you call a particular page you see that it has uh, these linked uh, it has those linked to it so every time we call we're getting this to become four if we go back to hello world we'll see now it becomes six because it was called twice. Initially it was four, then we call it game five. Now what we need to do here is that the first thing we need to do is we're going to remove action and in WordPress there's a particular hook that works with this and that's uh, in the WP, in the WP head, uh, we're going to get the 
function which is adjacent adjacent posts rail link wp head uh, this has to be an underscore so this is what we're going to remove we're going to remove uh, adjacent posts rail link wp head so i'll save this and let's see what happens so every time i reload this page when i reload this will become seven that's hello world remember our demo post was four six it's now seven uh let's go to our hello world it's eight we're leaving it at nine let's go back to demo post which was seven let's see seven now is eight and that is okay now is nine if we go back to hello world which was eight which is sorry was nine is now ten we reload it it's eleven let's go back to demo post is now ten eleven this is twelve because it was initially eleven so we're actually doing well now what we need to do is that we need to run our function outside outside of our, of our themes so what we need to do is that we need to find a hook that's going to give us both the id and so that we can run our particular functions so we'll just leave this to show but we're going to cut this out and save this um, and then we are going to come back and run so I'm going to move this out and then comment it so we need to find a proper hook for this this is not actually working for us so I'm going to try another hook which is a loop underscore start this particular hook loop start actually passes one argument which is a it passes in uh, the, the query so it passes in the query so once uh, we get the query we shall be able to get our post ID so if is query now we're going to look if this is the main query or what we're looking for so we'll do the if uh, is main query then we'll run our code so what we need to do is say if query is main query that's what we're going to do if is main query and it's a function uh, what we're going to do is we're going to vadamp what the main query is uh, so we just need to dump query in here so and then what we shall do is die to just see what's happening so we reload this save so voila we're getting it which is good uh -huh. so the query have the page the query vars the parent post the sub post the sub post but what we are looking for is ID so let me find ID and we have 16 matches so we have ID which is the integer here so so we are looking for the ID so query dash ID uh, okay <coughs> so we're going to move all our code in here into this and then what we're going to do is we're going to actually make this our variable and say post id is equal to query and then we shall get id on this query and the id that's what we wanted and then we shall delete this and save so coming back to this page if we reload before we had 13 fingers crossed we have 13 and it's still 13 no not working so let me just 
over dump this again. Let me dump that and then I'm actually going to dump the post ID because we want to see what we are storing in our data. Copy, paste this and take this out. Save, reload. Ah, we're storing null. Let's just go back and do this again. So query, we're going to get the query, paste it here, and then uh, we shall echo some pre-tags to see uh, exactly what we are working with. Okay, so get this, cut it, put it here, duplicate this, move it down, and then close it off, save, Let's reload and see what we have here. So we have our object, which is query. We get the page, the year, the string, the month, the day. Then we have query vars, which gives us the mail, da, 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 sub post, page name. Then we have page ID, which is uh, an integer zero. And then we're still looking through to find out what we need. It's giving us now uh, queries, date queries. Yeah, so we are looking for queried object and then queried object is going to give us something different. So let's far dump that. Chain, queried object. Reload, we get the query, and then we're going to get the ID from that. So let's chain the ID from that, save, reload, and it's an integer one. This is for hello world. Let's see for demo post, what do we have? Integer 18, so that's the right ID we're actually looking for. So we just need to pass this on as our ID. So do this, take this out and then save. Uh, let's see what comes back. So if we reload this page, it's now 13, reload it 14. Uh, the reason that is getting displayed is because we have this showing up, query h2, I'll call this class. Uh, meta key, save it so that we can differentiate what's going on. So we reload this, we have that. Okay, uh, so 14, meta key is showing us 15. We're having h2 of views here as 14. And the reason why that is showing that way is because this has already queried uh, for the the views previously and it's just echoing it before it's not calling this loop again per se so what we're going to do is uh, just remove this and so we have our function that's actually going to uh, it's going to save what we need in there now, of course, uh, this is going to save for every post and every page that we do have. So whenever I reload, I have, before it was 15, now it is 16. Uh, that is demo post is in 16. Let's see what hello world is at. It's at 14. If I reload 15, uh, go to demo post, which was previously 16, it's 17. So we're good to go. This is saving what we actually wanted. So yeah, after a number of minutes, we've been able to sort this out. And so what we're going to do now is we're actually going to develop our, um, our dashboard. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to copy what we had here and I'm going to create a new dashboard. So I'm going to copy this, come back to our widget. 
So I've just copied this code from some other widgets that I had made in an earlier series. Uh, you can see the video linked here. Uh, up at the top, you can see the video linked. And we're going to create a dashboard here, which we shall call a uh, trending trending posts widget and then we're going to just call this uh, trending posts and so it's going to run um, it's going to run a function that's going to query for the different information that we do have so we shall call this uh, trending posts query which is the function that we want to have so we'll call this function posts and then we'll do this um, next thing that we're going to do is actually query for it so what we need to do is uh, okay is we're going to have a number of arguments that we're going to pass down into a, a new loop which is a, a new WP query and then we shall echo out that information. So this is what we're going to do first. We're going to get posts, args, which are arguments, and there will be an array of uh, information. So what do we need? We need the post type. So the post type, which should be post, And then we're going to look for posts per page. So I'll just wrap this here. Post per page. And we're going to limit that to, let's say, five posts for now, or 10. Let's just, ugh, eight. Let's go for eight. And then what we're going to do is we want to get, we want to query basing on the meta key. So we shall add the meta key that we want to look for. And the meta key that we are looking for is called, uh, so that's the meta key we are looking for. And then we are going to add that and say meta value. Meta value should be uh, descending. So meaning from the top to the lowest. So we'll save that. Now what we're going to do is we're going to add a query, say is equal to new WP query. Now that new WP query The WP query, we are going to pass the post args. In the new WP query, we are actually going to, this is lower letters query. The thing that we're going to do now is pass in the arguments, which is uh, the post args. That's what we need to throw in our, in our query. And Uh, when I look at this, I actually see I made an error. Uh, what we're going to do is uh, when we when we get the meta key, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to order it by. So we're going to order by this order by, and we shall say meta value number, and then comma. I'll duplicate this and then what we need to do is order this and say the order we need is actually descending. So we'll come from the most, from the highest to the lowest. So we have our new query here. Now what we need to do is actually just uh, complete our, our, our code. So what we're going to do is just come and say if 
our query has posts so we say have posts if we have that in our query then we are going to actually just echo those particular things so I'll just echo this so what's missing is uh, after we have why if we do have then we need to do a loop and choose while we have a query uh, we need to end the while also so while we have our post type has that query we need to get the title and let's see how this plays out so we'll save this make corrections we've made corrections so while we are looping through our content because it was true let's see what comes back so if our post has query if our query has posts then we we'll go for while it has posts uh, while it has posts this is what we should do we should echo out a ul uh, we need to move this in while it has that and then we need to move this out because we don't want to endlessly loop some uh, our html so this needs to go up uh, so and while So we'll echo our UL and while we have posts, we shall echo each individual post in an LI post title in uh, in a list element, and then we shall close this off. And so when we so if our query has post, we echo out a UL and close one off. And again inside we shall do a while loop, whereby we we just uh, query out the S query if the query has posts then we have to to do the query and then we shall tag on the post and then after that we are able to just loop through our titles just using the allies and then at the end we have to reset uh, by using the WP reset uh, post data to make sure that we are not doing a, a loop through the, the data again. So we're going to reload this. And when we reload, we actually have our demo post showing up here and we have hello world. Now the other thing that we could attach to this is actually we can add a span tag and then close off that span. And what we are going to actually echo in there is the number is the number of so we're just going to go back here and get a post query and copy this here because we want to show the number of um, let's say the number of times the post has been seen and so here we're going to actually change this to say get the ID and I'm going to pass the meta key here and so when I save this and come back and reload we actually have 20 times this has been viewed 16 times so what I'm going to do is I'm going to reload our hello world again and again and again and again and again so when we come back and reload here in our dashboard, we're going to realize that our hello world has been loaded 18 times. If I reload it one more time and come back here, you will see that it is now 19. I'll reload it one more time, another time, and another time so that it goes above the demo post too. So we're going to see that it actually switches. So we have our Hello world at 22, we have our demo post at 20. We can style this, but at least we've managed to make uh, a step in the right direction.
so if you've enjoyed this video please give it a thumbs up uh, and then follow up for the next video that will be coming we've been able to show the number depending if there were 10 posts uh, all we need to do is actually just edit this uh, here to query to make it 10 posts but right now on our page we have only two posts so we're able to see those two posts and so the next thing that in the next video I'll be showing you how we can actually work on having the posts that do have the most number of comments. The good thing is that uh, WordPress already has that covered for us because they record the comments on each post. So we shall be able to pick that out and then just throw it in a dashboard. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you like to know what's coming up, subscribe to the channel and click the bell so that you don't miss anything new that's coming out.